When I was a little kid, I loved to chase butterflies. Now from sunrise to sunset, all I did was chase butterflies across my garden. It made me happy. It made every day an adventure. Every day I used to go to sleep wanting to wake up the next day because I knew I had a butterfly to chase. One day when I was chasing a butterfly across my schoolyard, I saw my school teacher looking at me. He called me and said, come here, son. I was like, good morning, sir. He said, what are you doing? I'm chasing the butterfly, sir. He's like, chasing a butterfly? What are you doing chasing butterflies? Only girls chase butterflies, son. This is not socially acceptable. If you're going to be in my class, I don't want to see you chasing butterflies. You see them boys over there? You see how they're playing cricket? You see how they're playing hockey? That's what you should be doing. Here, take this football and you go play football. I was like, sir, what's the point in me kicking a ball on my own? I said, I don't care what you feel or what you think. You better do what I tell you to do. And if you don't go now, you're going to get something more than a football. So I take the football and I go, and I'm not kicking it on the ball. While I was kicking the football on the ball, I see the same butterfly come by me. I look at the football, I look at the butterfly, I look at the butterfly, I look at the football. And a voice in my head is going, chasing butterflies is only for girls. A voice in my head is going, this is not socially acceptable. This is an embarrassing thing to do. Don't do it, even though if it makes you happy. Now I realize the day I stopped chasing butterflies, the day I stopped living for myself. That's the day I stopped thinking about making myself happy and doing things to make everybody else happy. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, your story is now very different from mine. In fact, all of us have chased something far more beautiful than butterflies. All of us have chased something far more exciting, something far more enticing, something far more adventurous, something far more amazing than butterflies. Something only humans can even dare to chase. We have all chased the dream. How many of you want to be engineers who build the next biggest band? How many of you all want to be scientists who find out the next best formula? How many of you all want to be astronauts who want to go to Mars and Jupiter? How many of you all want to be magicians who make little boys and little girls smile? Can I ask you a question? Raise your hands if you've achieved your childhood dream. Ladies and gentlemen, this tells us something. This tells us that at some point in your life, more likely than not, you would have met somebody just like my second grade school teacher. Who would have told you, your dream is not viable. It's not socially acceptable. In fact, you can't do this. You want to go to the moon? Only white people can go to the moon. You can't go to the moon. Ex what? Explorer? You want to be an explorer? What is an explorer? How much do they earn a year? What? You want to be a paleontologist? Dig up bones? What's that? That's, that's not a profession. That's not a profession. I don't want you to do that. I want you to do what makes me happy. I want you to do what makes me proud. I don't care about what you do. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the day. We stop living for us. That's the day we stop being happy. The claim now is Ian Fleming said that we live only twice. Once when we were born and the other time when we were about to die. Because when we were born, we came out of our mommy's tummy screaming. Because we didn't know what it was like to breathe. When the surgeon took us from the legs and tapped us in the back. And the first breath of air filled our lungs, we were so happy. Because we knew what it was like to live and you wanted to be happy all your life. Next time when you're about to die. You're trying to breathe and the breath is not coming in. You want to live just a little bit longer. In between living and dying, we take every day for granted. We kill ourselves to make everybody else happy. We live our lives for everybody else but ourselves. I wasn't going to do that.
I was doing the consolidated accounts of company A and company B. I was looking at the calculator. I was looking at the numbers. I was looking at the calculator. And then I realized this is not what I want to do. This is a quick way to get a heart attack at 40. Because it was so, so boring. I told myself, what can I do to make me happy? Because I always love dancing. I love ballroom dancing. Because ballroom dancing is something that always made me happy. So I decided to take up dance lessons. And now I'm a professional dancer. I love dancing. I love dancing the walls across the floor. Makes my heart beat a little faster. Now it may not be socially viable. It not be financially viable. And for some people, some of the real men don't dance. But let me tell you something. Every day I go home to the most beautiful girl that I've ever met in my life. And I hold her in my arms. And I dance. Nothing makes me more happy than that. You can't measure that through money. You can't. All of us have at one point given up on this make us happy. But it's never too late. Because anyone who's ever chased a dream knows that chasing a dream and chasing a butterfly is the same thing. You need the same quality. Because you need dedication, determination. You need to be, you be patient and learn for when you're close to the butterfly. You need to be fearless. You need to reach out and grab the butterfly. That's how you catch the dream. What I want you to do is I want you to cup your hands. I want you to imagine that there is a butterfly in your hands. Can you feel its wings? On the wings of that butterfly is your dream. Open your eyes. Open your hands. There goes your butterfly. On that butterfly is your dream. Chase it. Catch it. And live your dream.